Right, so if you want to conditionally format a different cell based on a cell value, use this as an example, okay? So we've got here four questions and the cells we need to conditionally format the color based on the answers. So I'm going to click on D2 there, and I'm just going to go to Format, Conditional Formatting. And for D2, I want it to format using a conditional formula that basically equals D. Uh, if B2 equals B2 equals and the correct answer that's in there. And if it's any other answer, it won't color. So in this case, I'm just going to choose the color to go with that particular cell. And we click done. So that's now combat in, um, conditionally form in those cells. If I take that out, remove it, it disappears, put it back in, and it comes back. And to add that to other cells, I can do that randomly as well. It doesn't have to rely on these ones. But I can just take the same rule and apply it to a different cell. So I can copy that, just close that one, and I might also want um, this cell to do the same thing, providing lemur is in there in the answer. So I add another rule, F1, customer formula, add that in, and make sure we're on the right color. And then I might also want this cell to do the same. So I'd add another rule, customer formula, add that in, change the color. Okay. So that's doing that for those three cells. Now if I want to now do that for a different cell, I might want this cell here to basically change on the basis of the capital of Argentina. So I click here, I can add another rule. So we now want D1 to change. We're gonna go custom formula, but this time we want if C2, okay? And equals, and then we've gotta put it in the inverted commas, Buenos Aires. And if we close there, we'll notice it doesn't work because it's showing in blue. We have to put the equals at the beginning. Now it will work. And again, we can use the same color or we can choose a different color. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to choose the same color because it's only going to line up if we do it correctly. Okay, so C2. Uh, where are we? Sorry, not C2. B3 equals Buenos Aires. There we go, and now it's done it. So I can now take that formula again, B3 equals Buenos Aires. Copy that, and I might apply that to this cell. And again, apply the correct color, and so on. And I can keep doing that for various different cells until I'm happy that I've got my picture. And then I can change colors at any point if I want to as well. So for the next one, I might want to say, actually, I need this now to turn. Let's do one more. In, let's do one more in the blue. There we go. And then just to show a different color, do the same with these ones. This one here, I'm going to add the rule that if D3 conditional formula is that B4 this time equals Madrid. Make sure it's exactly the same. And we're just going to choose a different color just for the sake of it. So B4 equals Madrid, just copy that while we're there. And then this one here is also going to have that same rule. Turn that red. Then do the same with this one. Turn it red, and then do the same for this one, but this time we're going to go with Rome. So we're going to say custom formula, 
and we're going to say this time that b5 equals b5 equals Rome. And we're going to fill that one in as the light blue. I'm going to click done. So you can see there we've spelled out the letter H using all of those conditional formats. If I wipe those letters out, answers out of there. There we go. If I put the wrong answer in, nothing happens. If I put the right answer in, it starts to. There we go. That's how you do it.